Hey everyone! Alright, so here's a new video for you guys, and um, I'm sure you've noticed by the title, this is something that I don't normally do on my channel, which is a review, but um, yeah, my friend came out with a cosmetics line, Amy, better known as Shrinkle, and so as a favor to her and a favor to all of you out there, I thought I would do a uh, review. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because I know a lot of people want to know about the products and then also because it's a new company so it needs a little promotion so as a very good friend I thought I would help give a little bit of promotion for her. Um, it's free promotion so yeah. Um, I'm not getting paid to do this video if you're wondering. Yes, everything was sent to me for free. Uh, and also, just because everything was sent to me for free, and I'm doing it for a friend, and all that stuff is going to factor in, um, don't think I'm going to lie in my review, because I'm going to give you the truth. I'm going to tell you if a product sucks, if I love it. Um, there's two reasons to that, and that's because you guys deserve to hear the truth, because you need to know how the product's actually going to work, or the pros and cons about it. And second, Amy herself needs to actually hear pros and cons, because if you just hear nothing but positives, you're not going to hear anything that's negative, so how are you going to improve on your product or your company? So, yeah, I'm just going to tell you flat out, everything was free, it's 100% truthful, if you don't believe me, I can't persuade you to think any other way, so believe what you want. But, yeah, this is actually going to be a review on all of this, which is Sugar Pill Cosmetics. I'm not going to talk about every single color or anything like that, because that's way too much to talk about, but I am going to give you, like, pros and cons on the products and the packaging and everything like that. Everything that I talk about in this video is available to purchase from sugarpill.net. Um, there will be a link over and in the sidebar, so make sure you check that out if you find any of this interesting. Since you guys know I don't normally do reviews, this may seem a little all over the place because I'm going to try to get as much information as I can in. Um, so there will be a lot of cuts because I'll probably start rambling and go on and on and on. But, um, yeah, so bear with me. This is, like, my first official review. So I'm going to do my best, but with all that said, let's just go right ahead and get into it. Okay, now one of the main things that I love about this, um, besides the fact that Amy spent a lot, a lot, a lot of time into getting all of this stuff ready just to start up, um, and one of the things that really shines through about that, that she actually put a lot of time and effort into this, is all of her products actually have their own special packaging. Um, it's not just something where you just throw like the container in a bubble mailer and ship it out. But on top of that, when I actually open these, you will see that the logo, this is one of the pigments, is actually printed onto the plastic. It's not a sticker, like you can hear it's actually printed on there. And the same thing goes for the eyeshadows, which are actually pressed. And same thing, that's not a sticker on the packaging. You can see it's actually printed onto the plastic. And then each product comes with its own little sticker that's got the product name, weight in ounces and everything, and then of course the cute little cat logo. But that's one thing that stands out about this for being a brand new company is the packaging because time, effort, energy, everything like that has been put into creating everything. Like, there's a little box so you can see up close. And then another positive that I'm going to mention is all of the products actually have ingredients listed on um, the packaging or the actual sticker on the bottom. Like on the pigments, all the ingredients are down there on the bottom. And then for eyeshadows, all the ingredients are listed on the bottom. So that's another great thing because there's no really guesswork or anything. And on the website, everything is listed as well. So if you have an allergy to something or if you're vegan, you can see if it has any of those products you need to avoid. And also, while I'm speaking on the vegan side, there are actual vegan products. And on the website, it's indicated by a little icon that says vegan. So vegan friendly as well. Not all of the products are vegan friendly. So make sure you check for the little vegan seal of approval that's on there. As far as packaging goes as a whole, um, I don't have any, I personally don't have any complaints, but I thought of a complaint that some people might have, and that's like if you're ordering a big lot of products, none of the boxes as of right now have a name sticker on them. For me, that's not a big problem because I just get rid of the packaging anyways. I don't need it. And since everything has its name printed on the bottom, 
that's all that matters to me. But I know to some people that will be kind of a big deal. So um, as of right now, there are no product stickers on boxes, name stickers rather. Um, but I know that's another one of the things that is going to be added within the near future. So. Another great thing is all of their products are actually cruelty free, so they don't do any testing on animals. So that's another great thing. Now I'm going to show you guys a few of my favorites of the products. Um, I'm not going to show all of them because there's a lot of colors I have here, but I'm going to show you some of my favorites. Some of them you'll notice because I've used them before in previous tutorials. Um, I just wasn't able to tell you what they were, but now you're going to find all that out. But um, this one right here is called Flame Point. It's just a bright, bright um, matte orange pressed shadow, and it's more of like a safety cone orange type of color. It's very bright. It can go neon, so that's one of the ones I love. And then you also have this one, which is Butter Cupcake, um, and it's actually just a very, very bright, vibrant matte yellow. Then you have this one, which is Love Plus, just a nice matte red, and it's really hard to find like a quality matte red that is actually red. So um, that's one of the reasons I love that, because it's pretty much like if Ruby Woo lipstick from MAC was an eyeshadow, this would be it. It's red, like a nice, nice red. Then you have this lovely color right here, which is uh, Goldilocks, which is just a nice metallic gold, and it actually shows up gold. I'll do swatches in a second for you guys. And then this one, a lot of you are going to recognize this color, and you're going to be probably, maybe, be excited that you're actually finding out what it is now. But there's this red right here, which is called Asylum. This is a bright metallic red pigment, and this is the red that I used in my Nocturnal M Issions, or Nocturnal M Issions, Nocturnal Emissions tutorial. So this is that red that I used that I couldn't say the name. Um, and then another good one, which is actually another pigment, is this one, which is a nice acid green color, and this one is absinthe. So... Those are a few that I like, and right now, I'll do a few swatches of colors that I know you guys are probably curious about, like the most common ones most people would be curious about. I'll do swatches of those right now. As you can see, there's nothing on my hand right now, but this is the red on its own. You can see it's a nice, opaque, bright, bright red. Um, pretty much if MAC Ruby Woo was an eyeshadow instead of a lipstick, that's what this would be. And then for the pigment, and there's no primer or anything on my hand right now, so um, for the pigment, I'll do it on its own. And then I'll also do it with a drop of mixing medium so you can see the difference. If I can actually pick up the product. There we go. So for this, you can see right here is the gold without a primer. I just used a Q-tip to rub it on there so you can see it's just a nice shimmer. But then underneath, you can see it's very, very high shine metallic gold. Um, very opaque. I just used a tiny, tiny amount of um, face and body mixing medium, but you could use like water or your eye drops or anything like that. So you can see the color payoff of these products is actually really amazing. And then off camera, just to speed it up a little bit, I did um, swatches of other colors. Right here, you have the yellow, so you can see it's nice and opaque. Then you have the orange one, the purple one, um, and then, of course, Asylum is right there, that bright red. Um, the only ones that have a primer on them are the two pigments, of course, because I wanted them to stick and actually show their true color. But with the eyeshadows, there's actually no primer. Um, just like I did for the other two, um, the red and the purple, I just used a Q-tip and swatched them. So that's true color payoff right there. No primers, no nothing, nothing to trick the eye. So yeah, now you can see what they look like. <laughs> now I'm going to show you guys this. This is actually one of the palettes. You can see the packaging is different. Um, the artwork is designed by Liz Lorini. I think that's her name. Um, that cover girl right there. Then that's the actual palette front to back. Um, some pros and cons about the palettes. One of the cons being that this thing weighs quite a bit. It's pretty heavy. Um, so if you carry a lot of makeup with you or even if you don't, this can weigh down um, 
the lot of makeup that you're taking with you because of the weight of this. Um, I think most of it is because of the mirror, but I could be wrong. Either way, that's one of the cons to this palette is the weight. It is kind of heavy. Um, another one would be that this is made out of cardboard. So over time with extremely heavy use, um, it might tend to like tear, fray, break down, uh, just stuff like that. Just pretty much basic use that a plastic container would be able to handle. This one over time will start to um, just fall apart, but how soon is going to depend on how often you use it and how rough you are with your palette. So that's another thing to take into consideration if you're thinking about getting one of the palettes. A perk though to this palette is it has a mirror on the inside so that way you can see what you're doing and it's a decent sized mirror so that's one of the great things about this and then another one is that these eyeshadows are actually the palette itself is magnetized so you don't need a magnet on the back of your pan so if you have like any makeup forever shadows which are actually the same size as these you can pop them right in here or if you plan on depotting any of your other sugar pill eyeshadows you can just go ahead and switch them out and plop them in here as well i don't know if amy plans on selling just pans of eyeshadows themselves and then doing palettes not sure um but i can find out if you guys want me to and then i will either update this video or just post an update video later on about some questions, so maybe that's an idea that I can ask. Yeah, that's an idea. I'll just ask her some questions, and then in like a week or two I'll do an update video with some of those questions answered, so there's that. But um, another con to this that I'm going to say, um, as of right now, there are no color stickers on the palette or on the box itself, so if you don't remember the color names yourself, you're not going to be able to look on the back and go, oh, well, this is blah, 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 this is blah, blah, blah. Um, but I know that is going to be um, added very soon, so as of right now, it's one of the cons, but later on, it will be fixed, so there's that. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to talk about are going to be these, the lashes. Um, I'm going to tell you flat out, I can't say anything bad about these. Ooh, and I just dropped a pair. Um, but I can't say anything bad about these, and there's two reasons. One, I've used both pairs in multiple videos. Um, the pair that I dropped more than this one, but this pair is my favorite, and there's a reason it's my favorite, and that's because Amy actually ordered these per my request. Like, the only reason she got these is because pretty much I asked her to. Um, but if you remember in one of my old videos, the uh, UV Jewel Tone Rhinestone Neon something or another, I used bright orange lashes that had rhinestones on them. And these are those lashes, but this time they're black. Um, so yeah. She pretty much had them made just for me, so I'm very excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's what these are. I don't know what the name is on the site, sorry, but um, you'll see them on there anyways. And then for this pair right here, um, I've used these in quite a few videos as well. They're just very long cat eye um, lashes because they wing out. One con to these is that if you have smaller eyes, they might weigh your eye down a little bit too much. So um, a really good trick, cut them in half or just cut the more longer part off and use that on the inside corner. Or you can actually just cut these in tiny strips or however many strips you want and use them as like accent lashes. Um, you could pretty much just play around and have fun with them and just do creative, fun things. So yeah, that's it for lashes as of right now. All right, and one thing that I'm gonna pretty much file under the neutral category, like if this was a Venn diagram, this would be in the center for neutral, and that would be the price of the products. Um, I honestly think the prices are reasonable. Some people are going to say it's too expensive, so that's why it's going to be more in the center with the neutral, because it can go either way depending on the person. So, Then yeah. one last cute thing, um, I think it's cute, is with every order you get one of these little stickers. Um, it's just a little Sugar Pill logo. It just says Sugar Pill Cosmetics, but it's glittery. But you could put it on like your laptop, you can put it on your car, you can put put it on your um, eyeshadow palette, a bathroom wall, or like a notebook, anything like that. So yeah, that's really, really cute. And that's the last thing that I'm going to say. So I'm going to remind you guys one last time, you can get any of the products that I just talked about and plenty more um, from sugarpill.net. 
And yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to let me know or feel free to ask down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of the ones that I know I can answer. Otherwise, look out in like a week or two and I will post an updated video with some questions that most of you guys have asked that I can get information from Amy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.